Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video and if you're into Hux World and today I got the update for this 7.0 Nougat on the Galaxy S7 Edge. So this is pretty much a blend between the features of the Note 7 and the update of Nougat, which is great. It's going to make for a great device. I'm going to leave some information at the end of the video as to how you can sign up for this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start checking out some of these features. Now, the biggest thing that I would like out of the Galaxy Note 7 was the always on display. Now, the always on display for the Galaxy S7, it had it, but it didn't have as many clocks. You get the same clocks that you had on the Galaxy Note 7 now on the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, the biggest upgrade to this is a feature where you're able to tap into your notifications right from your always on display. So if you look at the bottom, you'll see like on the Galaxy Note 7, you have little icons from your notifications. All you have to do is double tap. It'll take you straight to that application, straight from the always on display. And that was one of the biggest features that I love about the Galaxy Note 7. Okay guys, let's check out some of the features of Android Nougat 7.0 and some of the features that's been ported over from the Galaxy Note 7. Okay, so one of the things you can do is if you press and hold down on this icon, it's going to give you more information so far as what you can do with it. And I could put it to sleep, which I'm thinking was super, super cool. And you can uninstall, which I'm loving. I don't have to go into the app drawer. And you have app info. The other thing is, is that it doesn't work the same for every single app. It's different depending on the app. Here I can only uninstall and I can check out the app info, which is still cool. It's still welcome, but I can see that this has so much potential and hopefully Samsung taps into it to bring about some more features and super coolness to this particular feature, which I'm loving. Now, here's number one on the list, your notification shade. Now, it has been revamped. It looks better. It looks cleaner. It looks really nice, right? So here's one thing I could do. I could tap on that icon and it drops down the screen and I can reply. So if I tap reply, it brings up the keyboard. I can send a message straight from here without having to leave the drop screen. Another thing is, is if I check out my email, it brings up the latest email. If I do it again, I can bring where I can reply. Mark is read and or delete. Now that's super, super cool. I'm loving that one. Uh, let me get rid of this. I was testing this out. We'll show you that in a second. And the weather channel, and I have the weather channel app. I don't know if that's the reason this is on here or if it's part of the Nougat update, but definitely that's welcome as well because I love what the weather channel brings to the table. Now, another thing you can do is you go ahead to your notification settings here. So if you want to change the permissions to certain apps, just tap on the app and change its permissions to whatever you would like straight from here. Okay, let me drop the screen down again. And if I drop it one more time, I get like a little animation. But for those of you all who had the Galaxy Note 7, this would be familiar to you. Now, Nougat has kind of revamped it a little bit. Now you have a extra screen. I don't know if that's convenient or not. Uh, I like everything all in one place. So it's here, it's welcome if you like it. There you go. Okay, now you also have your brightness bar right here. And if you want to search for more apps, you can search for it right at the top, which I've always loved. Uh, the other thing you can do is that you can edit the layout to however you like to lay it out to. And you can also change the button layout. So you can change it from four by three to five by three, depending on your liking. Okay, uh, is that a super convenience? It could be. It depends on the individual. Another thing that they've added was the blue light filter. Now, I like it and I don't like it. Now, the one on the Galaxy Note 7, the shade was a lot better, a lot dimmer, was a lot easier on the eyes, uh, but this isn't bad. I mean, it is here. I'm liking it. You get like your flashlight. So you have all those things all laid out for you. Some of these features weren't on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge till now which is good so let's go ahead check out settings and in settings you have this menu and everything is cleaned up it's all laid out i'm loving the setup just like that on the galaxy note 7 and for up under every one every topic you have what it is within it so no longer do you have to look for it just read it 
and go in. Now one of the things that's cool about this is if I hit display and home screen and I tap on screen resolution, I could change the resolution straight from here to help save on battery life. Now one of my main features that I like about this is device maintenance, which I think is the coolest feature ever. You can also set this to your home screen, which I've done uh, on my phone. And if you want to optimize this, you can optimize it to the fullest. So whatever's running in the background, it's going to kill it. You hit done and you're finished. Same thing with battery. If you want to change it to mid, uh, again, no seven users. This will be familiar to you. Uh, you can set it to these settings. Okay. Me personally, always leave it off. I should use it, but I don't. But another thing you can do for whatever's running still in the background, like these few apps, if you want to save more power, just go ahead, kill those. And there you go. Battery optimized. Okay, now also you have performance mode. Now this layout was not on the Galaxy Note 7. At least I didn't see it and it was not in this particular application as well. But if I go in here, you can set it to game and it's the settings for your games. You also have it for entertainment and you have it for high performance, which if I was to do anything, this is where I would have it. I have to have brightness because I can't see really. And I want it on Quad HD because I want the best look ever. Okay. And you can do the same thing for storage and RAM. So you have a task manager on board without having to go look for a third party application. So you still have your fingerprint scanner. You have all those things. Now, the two things that you will not get, you will not get the iris scanner you don't have the hardware for that and you also won't get secure folders with this particular update but i'm quite sure with further updates later on down the line they are going to port that over at least i'm hoping that they do also what we have on board is doze and that doze is going to optimize well not doze let's say doze on the go and doze on the go recognizes that you have it in your pocket and it optimizes the applications that are running to help create uh, a better battery experience, which is cool. I'm liking this feature. So you get to save on battery just that much more. Okay, so let's check out another feature um, that Samsung has already had. It's called multi-screen window, which is a part of Android Nougat, which is already a part of the Galaxy phones already. But there has been a revamp to it, and we're going to take a look. Now here, this is the symbol that lets you know whether this application can work with a multi-window. You tap on it, tap on another application. Let me do it again. Tap on that one. That one wasn't optimized for it. So I tap on one that can. Let me do that one. There we go. And now you have both of them running at the same time, which is pretty cool. And so what I could do is if I want to size it, I can however I like. Now, one thing I do like about this is that if I want to, I hit the home button and it saves it right up top. So the screen turns blue. If I want to get to it, I just drop the screen, look for multi window and drop it down with two fingers and I can dismiss it right from here. Okay. And, or I can go straight to it. If I like just tap on that particular setting and here I am. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought it was super convenient. Let me go ahead and dismiss this real quick and get rid of it. Okay. So I don't know. What do you think guys? This is pretty cool. I'm thinking that Samsung and Google partnered up to bring about uh, a great update for the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge, which definitely gives you a feel of having a Galaxy Note 7 in your hand. And many of us felt like it was a downgrade to go to the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. Now we feel a little bit better about it. Now the gallery, there's no real big change with the gallery. I mean, there's certain things that you can do that you could do uh, before this update. And then there's some things that have been added so far as the Galaxy Note 7 is concerned. And you get your dates here for, if you want to look for certain videos, pictures, they're already here, which is nice. You have the album, your story. You could definitely edit it here, collage settings. Um, so there's no real big deal with this, but the big deal is with the camera that's been ported over from the Galaxy Note 7. So you selfie people that was, you know, kind of liking on the Galaxy no seven if you flip up there you go selfie at its best if I swipe to the right 
Here go some selfie features I could take while selfie, virtual shot, video collage. I can get out with selfies. So check it out. And then if I swipe to the other side, here's my filters for those pictures and videos. So this is pretty nice, right? So let me go ahead and go back into the rear camera. And if I swipe to the right, I get different information. Auto, Pro, Panorama, Select Focus, Slow Motion. And if I swipe to the left, then I get all my filters for the rear camera, which is definitely welcome. You got the HDR, you can cut it on auto, you can cut it on and off, and you can go into the menu and everything's all laid out. Your video size, your picture size, your timer, everything that you need is laid out, easy to read, easy to find. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and share this video with others. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you guys can go ahead and check out the Galaxy Beta program and you have to register for it and wait for Samsung or continue to check back to see if Samsung has sent that update for you to be able to update. Now, when they first opened it they had a limited amount of people that they allowed to check out this beta then they reopened it probably because people were complaining so now that it's open I will waste no time right after this video you go ahead hit the link go get registered and download the beta program okay guys make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos and as always I will see you all at the next one take care